Yo, what's going on? Vosk here at the Vosk Coin uh, Mining Farm. Today we're going to be reviewing a new Cadena mining rig with interesting efficiency ratings, but Cadena is a mineable cryptocurrency. Uh, it's ascending in price, and as the markets turn green, mining cryptocurrency becomes more interesting than ever as a way to basically turn your electricity into passive income. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to review this one. Um, and as I kind of refresh uh, my updates on Cadena, I'm thinking I'm interested and excited in having uh, more Cadena mining hash rate. Uh, so let's pop into the digital shovel mini pod we've got here. And you'll notice right there, that is the miner, the Ivy Lake BMK3 Max. loud in there even have the uh, auto door shutting feature watch this give it time give it time some quick notes on that right we obviously have an attached power supply it has the power button on the power supply which I love and think is way underdone it uses a C19 C20 connection uh, you know so it's got what we call the stone face uh, when you look at the cable these are easy to deploy I specifically really like the mining PDUs from Altair uh, we uh, popping those in all over the farm here you know obviously like every other you know normal full-scale industrial ASIC miner it's no Wi-Fi capabilities just an Ethernet connection to give it internet right so you plug in the juice you plug in the internet and that equals a higher electricity bill. No, 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 passive income, baby. So we've got this thing deployed. Let's jump behind the screen, look at you know the mining profitability, how much is it earning, how is it performing, is it doing what it's supposed to be doing or not, uh, and can we figure out why? Cadena made a lot of Cadena miners a lot of money in the last crypto bull run. Things are picking up now. Cadena is starting to pump in price, and today we're going to be reviewing a new Cadena mining rig. Mining profitability, honestly, off the charts right now. Bitcoin just <laughs> doing its thing. Uh, it's even hit a new all-time high just on market cap. Dogecoin over 18 cents, up 114%, right? Uh, Cadena is up 42%. And while Cadena is still down significantly, right, from its previous all-time high, uh, it's seen, you know, some very good price movement up, you know, 72% in the uh, last 30 days and again the general cryptocurrency market is, is pretty exciting and this period definitely kind of has me getting FOMO do I have enough coins do I have enough miners am I ready for a parabolic bull run uh, something you should be asking uh, yourself as well IB link recently came out with the BMKS max not many of these were made uh, priced pretty well especially as capital went to uh, uh, increase even further in uh, price per coin after this came out, uh, you know, street value on these is like 15 grand. They didn't make that many. They quickly sold out, uh, but that's a Casper miner. Their other new miner release is the BMK3 Max. That's the one I got in hand. Uh, so huge shout out to Ivy Link for helping me get this miner. Uh, thanks to them for making today's review possible. You can head over to their site right now. I'll link it out below because please use our link. It's not an affiliate link. It's not a referral code. We don't have a discount code with them or anything, but I just want to make sure you end up on the right website. There are so many uh, scammy impersonating websites, especially for Ivy Link. So, you know, that's why we have those links down in the video description below. If they sell out, you can also check out ASIC Marketplace, who has so far sold out uh, their batch. But we work with ASIC Marketplace on a lot of uh, minor acquisitions and minor reviews. And we do have a coupon code with them, Voscoin. Uh, but again, you know, they're sold out right now. But, you know, these things are always rapidly changing. Maybe Ivy Link is sold out or not. Uh, let's specifically look at the specs here, right? This has an attached power supply on it, so you need 220 plus voltage, right? You know, single phase, three phase, whatever. Watch our beginner guide to get up to speed on all the stuff, uh, you know, how to set up the miner, uh, how to set up electricity. It's really not that bad. It's really pretty simple. I'm telling you, you can do it if you want to do it. Uh, but this does not plug into a random normal wall outlet in your house, so make sure you understand that. 
Uh, using the device is very easy. You plug it in, you get an IP address, and you can log into your router, get that, or use something like an IP scanner. Actually, that stuff's covered in that guide I mentioned too that I'll link in the video description. Uh, so I've already logged into it. Default password for IBLink miners is admin. Uh, we can see that my miner has an uptime of about five days and it has an average hash rate here of 74 terahash a second. Uh, so it, this is a little bit interesting because it's a little bit below the specs that I was expecting to see on this miner because uh, ASIC Marketplace lists it at 82 terahash a second and so does Ivy Link's official site. Uh, and yet in this miner I have here to review, it's averaging a hash rate of almost 75 terahash a second. Uh, this is running in a pretty cool environment. This is in our digital shovel mini pod, a true, you know, minor deployment building. This is just the status screen. Uh, we can go over to the dashboard and you can see some information, probably not going to be that interesting or relevant to you. Most of your information you're going to want to see is on the status page. Uh, I've only tested this out on F2 pool uh, for Cadena mining so far. Uh, their dashboard is nicer uh, than their older miners used to be, so I do enjoy the new dashboard. There is an option for efficiency as well as performance, and you can see I'm on the default setting here, which is the performance uh, setting, which has a frequency of 540 and a voltage of 1,300. Uh, this is going to be a higher hash rate and a higher power consumption as opposed to the efficiency setting. Uh, within the other settings, we have pretty much uh, voltage, as well as warning and safety uh, temperature uh, settings here. So if you want to restart the miner, uh, the actual software, you can click restart application. You can reset the miner, uh, which would be rebooting uh, with the reset button. Uh, so you have all of that accessible here as you would kind of expect um, in your in your miner dashboard. And you can see my temperature right now is at about, you know, 64-ish Celsius. Three hash boards, chain one, two, three, packed here in the miner and each of them have 180 chips, and they're all performing about the same. Uh, so while the hash rate is a little bit lower than I expected, uh, the performance has been good for the first five days so far. We can check my mining profitability. Uh, yesterday I mined 5.17 KDA, uh, in the previous days, somewhere between you know 5.4 and 5.2. Uh, my real-time hash rate as measured by the mining pool, which is what you get paid off of, um, is gonna be 72 and a half terahash a second in the last 24 hours. If you look at the amount of coins I mined, and we break that out to USD, that's about $9 of uh, mined coins in the last 24 hours. This is the IBLink BMK3. This is the predecessor to the K3 Max, which is what we're reviewing. Uh, this one consumes 3,300 watts at 70 terahash a second. It's projected earnings is 927, costing about $8 a day to run on a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity bill, which theoretically would put $1.35 into your pocket. Uh, my miner is using slightly less power and it's hashing, you know, at a similar speed. So we're kind of seeing similar mining performance here, you know, in my one off uh, test miner review. And to be very clear, this is a BMK3 Max. Cadena is moving in price um, and with a market cap of only 462 million. I've been impressed with the performance of mineable coins so far. I mean, like, let's just kind of come back to this list, right? You you go down this and ignore Casper, which has been bouncing off new all time highs, you know, month over month over month, almost on average. We go down this list, almost every coin is up like 40% or more, or has recently gone up, uh, you know, pretty substantially. Like, like Nervos has gone up substantially in the last month and is up only an additional 25% in the last seven days. Uh, you know, Cadena, again, at 42%, Dogecoin just ripping upwards at 115% just in the last week. This is very exciting times. Miners are going to get very expensive. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it's interesting. I'm intrigued. I'm happy to have another miner. So far, the performance of this hasn't been exactly where I hoped it would be. It has tough competition against the Bitmain Antminer KA3 uh, that is basically twice as efficient. The IBLink BMK3 Max is definitely gonna be built around people with really cheap electricity rates or banking on uh, Cadena uh, increasing seriously in price, uh, which, which is very possible as the market conditions pick up. Cadena is a project that has funding, has connections, and has been you know building and existing here throughout the bear. Uh, so it's not a cryptocurrency I'm counting out. They also have a pretty cheeky rebrand that makes them look a lot more like Casper. Uh, so that was an interesting move. Overall, you know, my performance uh, with this IBLink uh, miner, it's not hashing quite where I expected it to be, uh, but it has been working and 
the market momentum is kind of, in my mind, making up for some of the uh, deficiencies. At the end of the day, you're gonna need cheap electricity to take advantage of a miner based on this efficiency uh, for Cadena mining. Remember, Cadena mining is based on the Blake 2S mining algorithm. If no one drops a much more efficient miner and Cadena continues to increase in price, this miner, you know, it makes sense literally and figuratively. Uh, otherwise, it's just not efficient enough but depending on price and availability, who knows? We could see a situation where the market, you know, goes parabolic and uh, like every miner is just getting scooped up and prices for hardware are skyrocketing. Uh, so I don't know. Um, you, you know, my mindset and focus is changing a bit right now. So this is my review of the IB Link BM K3 Max. As always, do whatever you want to do. You're on the Boss Queen YouTube channel, home of Tails. We're in 10 seconds of Tails on every video because she is our CMO, our Chief Mining Officer. And on that note, I'm going to close it out. Please subscribe. Our video output's going to uh, ramp up a little bit because there's a lot of things happening and I don't want to fall behind personally and I want to share everything with you guys here and give you the best information and unique data I can uh, so you guys can you know, take that information and do with it whatever you want. See you later.